What up, y'all? Appreciate you showing up, hanging out, listening to my dumb ass. Like and subscribe. Uh uh. Anyway, so uh, the year moves on, marches on, and we have more just buffoonery. Uh, you know, there's buffoonery everywhere, right? You got buffoonery on the on the donkey unicorn side, the ponies. You got buffoonery with these big companies. You got buffoonery everywhere, legally. So I want to talk about two things. One thing first. Appreciate y'all. Like and subscribe. Oh uh, no, that wasn't it. Sony is apparently, or got sued or char- or fined. I think they got fined. Uh, 13 million pounds, uh, which is, uh, I don't know what the conjugation, <laughs> the exchange rate is, 11 something million, whatever, maybe 12 million, whatever. But uh, it's like, if, if they don't have enough like problems with money, meaning not getting enough, now they gotta spend more money for unfair business practices in the UK, I believe it's the UK. And I was like, huh? Well, how? And it's, it's something about the controllers or something? I was like, okay, I didn't. I never heard of nothing about this. You're never, ever, 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 ever going to hear the donkey unicorns and the ponies, those outlets like IGN, say anything. They're not reporting on this. You got to get it from, like, Tom Henderson. Sorry, let me just close the window. It's a little too loud. You got to get it from, like, Tom Henderson or something or you know, whoever. But, you know... Like, what happened to journalism? What happened to these guys? That was going to happen. This was going to happen. These donkey in the corn and pony sites, IGN and all that stuff, they're going to kind of diminish. They're just going to be guide sites, basically. And that's where they get their most traffic anyway. So they're just going to be guide sites. And then the Jez Gordons and, the, and I mean, sorry, Jez Corden and uh, the Jeff Grubbs and all these people out there who are, you know, breaking news and talking about stuff. That's that's the go-to. I mean, those are my go-to guys anyway, first and foremost. But um, but yeah, these big sites are they're killing themselves, not in a good way. They're doing it to themselves. They're they're literally playing this console war thing, and it's not giving their site any type of you know any any. It's not gi- giving them any props. That's not the word. The word escapes me, but. It is diminishing the value of their site, let's just say that. Because all they want is the views and the clicks, and they don't care about the quality and the actual substance of their, you know, journalism, let's just say. Anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. But, yeah, that $13 million, uh, that must hurt. Like, how many, get, you could do, like, one, and you could probably do two, and you could probably do ten indie games. Seriously, like they'd be small teams, but they could be ten indie games. You could do ten. In, you could do ten indie games that are like first-party indie games. You could be like, "Yo, this is a guy to war indie game," and this is a uh, like Bayonetta. Bayonetta put that little indie game out, and people are like, "Yo, it's kind of dope. I like it." And they're playing it. It's, I bet you it didn't cost thirty million dollars. I bet you it didn't cost three hundred million dollars. I bet you it cost less than a million. You know, and that's what I'm saying. It's like they're so. I hate to call them dumb or short-sighted or whatever, but a lot of games that aren't giant, giant, ginormous AAA games, they do well. They make a lot of money, you know, comparable to what it was, what it was, you know, what it cost to make. Like, say if you, you make a little indie game for a million, let's just say, keep it simple, a million, and it brings in $20 million. That's a, that's a crazy success. And you know how many of those games you can make? And if you if you become the, the studio or the company that makes the banger indie games, what's wrong with that? Plus AAA. Plus, you know, you can be like, yo, they, any game that Sony makes is, I don't care if it's indie, AAA, blah, 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 it's always good. But they don't even want to do that. Whatever. You know, I, I think they're looking, they're looking at the wrong way to do business, you know, and I'm sitting here as a, you know, side sideline quarterback dude, but make money where you can make money, like everywhere, and, and, and they're so concerned with risk, but they're not diversifying their portfolio, so if they do 
a, a smaller game, which is less risk financially, and it blows up, so what? You don't make the billions of dollars, but you're still making money on your investment. And if you have 20 indie games that make five million each, that's that's a good amount. That's a hundred million. That's a lot of money. That's good. And your investment is like 10 million or whatever, or 20 million. And you make a hundred plus. Come on, man. I mean, it's a simple math. And it's like they, I don't know, man. It's like they're on some high horse and they swear they can only make this one type of game. Whatever. I mean, it's going to be their downfall. And they're already, they have, they're, in a, they're backed up into a corner and they ain't got, they got nothing. You know, they got to rely on third party to survive. Anyway, the next thing I was talking about, going to talk about, which is hilarious, which is even counter antithetical to all of this AAA buy our console because that's how we make the money and that's our business model and if we put it in day and date then nobody gonna buy the console and all that stuff right so (laughs) they're making a Last of Us I'm sorry not Last of Us they're making a Horizon MMO Horizon Forbidden Dawn MMO Horizon whatever MMO right Aloy's joint and it's not coming out for PlayStation 5 can you please explain to me how your whole business is predicated over console sales that's all you brag about you even make the numbers fake you got fake numbers inflating adding this and that in the third yeah you can probably add the car sales like oh we got that one Sony car that we made that some fool bought that's a sale Everything that Sony makes is a console sale. (laughs) Anyway, it's coming out for PC and mobile and not PlayStation 5. You know, you know, y'all in trouble when Sony is making a game that's not coming out for PlayStation. PlayStation is literally the hardware for Sony to put their games on. And they're not putting it on there. Woof, y'all are in trouble. Y'all, oof, y'all swear. Y'all like, oh man, they got all these games. All third party games. <laughs> man, they, it's like all these games, you don't own the IP, so you don't get 100% of the money. And it's so, oh man, Microsoft, dude, Phil Spencer was the best thing to happen in video games in general. Uh, the fact that he's on an Xbox team, that's just a plus. But imagine. Imagine like a world without Phil Spencer, the moves that he made, and Sony was the one that was dictating all the stuff, right? Imagine that. That would be ridiculous. Sorry. That would be crazy. You know, prices would be higher. Price, $100 games, easy, if Sony was to dictate the market. But the, fortunately, as much as they would want to dictate the market, they can't. Because there's only so much that they can do, only so much that they can get away with, as Jeff Grubb puts it, before the consumers revolt and say, nah, B, we're not doing that. Nah, B, we're not doing that. It's starting to happen. Colin Moriarty is over here talking about what's the game plan? Where's the roadmap? Talk to us, Sony. We want to hear. You know how we got information? Insomniac leak. <laughs> oh man, I knew, I would never have thought that I would see the day that Sony is in this position that they're in. They're literally on the edge of the cliff, about to fall off. They got no game. They literally have no games. Like I said, Last of Us remaster, remake, whatever. Last of Us psh, don't count. You recycling. You re-bleaching, as Sean says. <laughs> man, oh man. It's, it's, I'm glad that Sony, I mean, Sony may be the market leader, but that's only one metric. So to be honest, they're not the market leader they're in third place because of the acquisition and all that stuff. I don't even know if Nintendo will stay on top. I mean, I guess based off of their console sales because they make a, a, a bigger profit, I think, off of their console sales. So maybe, and they sell way, yeah, they, they sell a lot more games than PlayStation way more games on PlayStation. So, I want to see the numbers on that. 
not just console sales, but like actual, you know, and I, I know they had the chart where it's basically Microsoft was st still making more money than Sony before the acquisition and Nintendo was, was higher by maybe 5 billion or something. I can't remember actually, but you know, will there be a time when Microsoft leapfrogs as Sony likes to put it, Nintendo as well and becomes number one? Maybe, maybe. I mean, I would say that that is probably one of their goals. I mean, not to just be like, yo, let's get them because it's more of a partnership with Nintendo. Sony was just like PlayStation under Jim Ryan was just a bad look, bad look for the industry in general. And be honest, they pissed Phil Spencer off when he tried to say, oh, we trying to protect the kids and stuff from Xbox Live and stuff. And Phil was like, nah, I'm disappointed. He said, I'm disappointed. Disappointed in what Jim Ryan said. And that's Phil being a nice guy. You know, gangster Phil behind the scene, holding back, you know, Mad Booty, because Mad Booty's like, rah, rah, rah. My, rah, rah, rah. Mad Booty is the bulldog. My Booty is the pit bull of the, look, it's them three. It's Phil, Matt, and Sarah. This, this trifecta over at Xbox is just making moves. You know what I'm saying? Remember what Mad Booty said in that email? He said, yo, we could, we could spend him out of business. Phil was like, yeah, yeah, probably, yeah. Guess what they did? They're in the process right now of spending PlayStation out of business. <laughs> Sony is so pitiful, like, oh my God, they're gonna leapfrog us and we ain't gonna be, we in trouble. And, oh man, it's so good. So, anyway, I'm rambling and rumbling. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the $13 million that, uh, PlayStation is uh, having to pay 13 million pounds, excuse me. And then this whole Horizon MMO that's not even coming out for PlayStation 5. What kind of bull is it? Yo, I heard mad people say, yeah, I'm not playing that because they don't play MMOs. But still, I'm like, yo, Sony is so desperate. They trying to do everything that they can to make money, which is admirable. But come on, you got to have a plan. And this, this it further illustrates that they are creatively bankrupt. They're looking at what makes money and they're trying to emulate it instead of doing your own thing and sticking to it, putting some investment in it and letting it grow and let the audience say, oh snap, this is dope, you know. Whatever, man. Sony, the way that they're doing business, it's not working and until they change, they're in trouble, period. So, appreciate y'all. Like and subscribe, we are, we are flying, we, we at 511. I preach, man. Y'all don't understand how much it means to me. And I'm I'm definitely gonna give it back to y'all when I get them songs done. And like I said, I'm, I've been talking about that for months, but literally it's what I do. I mean, I'm doing a video game now, so, you know, sometimes, but I it's not like, oh, I can do it sometimes. No, 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 I do it. It's the easiest thing for me to do. I just wanna do it right for y'all, you know what I'm saying? So, but I appreciate y'all. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Tilt the weight.